Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with The Unclearness. And uh, it's a new game. It's on Steam. And uh, I don't know anything about it. But we're going to play. It's got uh, an interesting name. The Unclearness is a, is a weird name, but that's fine. Um, names don't have to be amazingly intelligible. Although I, I do like the, uh, the design of it. I like the art. Oh. Cold. Lousy okay. cold was piercing every inch of me. Huh. It was the most lousy time of the year. Rain mixed with snow. Is he Australian? And slush were penetrating everywhere. Or sometimes or is he it British? seems to me that the weather adjusts to my depressive soul. Must be British, right? Have you, my friend, ever felt like your life has lost its point and only close inevitable death can satisfy you? Maybe such faults have occurred to you only for a moment, but I never stopped thinking about it. Never in my dreams. My mind was full of faults and empty at the same time. I love the voice acting. But I just could have had one too many. After all, it doesn't matter. Now, stranger, I will tell you my story. I don't look for your understanding, but you may learn something new. Cool. Well, how did I get here? A small, dirty street near the central. Once a famous hotel and a lousy cesspool today was the last memory of mine. But it was so long ago. Okay. Excellent. I like the voice acting. The uh, opening cinematic was a little bit slow and that's fine. Ooh, he's really weird looking. Alright, can we run? Oh yeah, we can run. So we got some third person action going on here. Yep, and, uh, oh, cutscene time. Could someone decide to take his own life? I thought. I had no time to think. Maybe my soul is reducing to ashes, but I can't remain indifferent. Okay. Look at quest. How do I do that? T. T is really weird. I must get to the roof immediately. I can't witness another suicide. Not again. Okay. We did that. Um, right. So there's some uh, suicide stuff going on. Oh, what does that say? Moving without noises. Press control. Okay. Oh, he moves pretty quickly uh, when he's controlled. That's cool. Often uh, the speed at which you move slowly is, or, you know, move quietly is bad right so why are we sneaking around with this guy here how do we get onto this roof where are we I don't know where we're supposed to be going is this the roof we're supposed to be getting on is that what's going on oh here we go I'm gonna go up these stairs nice okay I mean you know the the city lacks a bit of texture uh, and seems, you know, there are a lot of games that look like this because, you know, it's assets and stuff, and that's fine. Um, this one is way better made than a lot of the, a lot of the games that I play that look like this. Um, and the voice acting, seriously, voice acting is something that can be done reasonably simply and adds so much to a game. I mean, I talk about it all the time. Uh, frequent viewers of my videos will know that I love some voice acting. I definitely can't do a British accent, but, uh, you know. Oh, where's the guy? Am I here now? Everything's really dark. Oh, there's more, more roof to climb. Okay. We're doing that. Let's climb some roof. We are roof climbers. Man, that just seems really dangerous that you can just walk out like that. You would just die. Very dangerous indeed. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's this guy. My guess is we're about to get a cutscene. Don't cut move. I don't want to die. Um, right. So I said don't move. He said I don't want to die, and then he died. Okay, and apparently there was a bunch of guns up here as well. I mean, that doesn't seem amazingly reasonable, but that's fine. Alright. 
How do we switch guns? There we go. That's what I wanted. And what are we supposed to do now? Oh, we can't go off the roof. Nope. Okay. Oh, we got to go back. So we came all the way up to the roof to watch someone die off of it. Oh, what happened there? Oh, oh there's some sort of helicopter or something. Okay. Yep. We're making our way down. Making our way down. Oh, God. Right. Do we heal up or... Would have been nice... For there to be some sort of reason for that like like any reason for that then yeah can we take this ship no okay well i guess that's that no we just need to keep going downstairs we couldn't even pick up their ammo even though i guess they were it seems like they were probably firing the same ammo that i was using where's the other set of stairs oh here it is Man, coming up all this way to the roof uh, definitely feels like a waste of my time. Just saying. Um, I liked the, uh, the opening bit, but uh, if you're going to make us do cutscenes and give us no opportunity to save that guy, why make us walk all the way up these steps? Um, unless you're really proud of your steps, but they're pretty, yeah, they're just pretty boring. Um... What's this? Use silencer with the handgun. Okay. Um, to use slow motion. Oh, there's slow motion. Okay, we can use an N for night vision. Well, it's not night time. Okay. Okay, I died. Uh, I shot him in the head with a silenced pistol, and he didn't die. So that happened, I suppose. Um, and now the game is... Oh. Where are we starting from? Oh, we're starting from here. So this is the... This is the bit where we're, where we're loading from, okay. Which means that we have to go kill that... Go kill the, um, the guys that are downstairs... And then go and deal with those other guys. And I guess I could have used slow motion. Um, I just want to be able to jump off. But you can't. Can I jump off here? I can! <laughs> okay. Well, I should have jumped off with my gun ready, I suppose. Um, yeah, it seems like the game's freezing. Look... And much as I like the voice acting, I don't really understand the uh, the suicide aspect and stuff. I don't the the fact that there's all these handguns and stuff up here. Just yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what was supposed to happen, but uh, I mean, I, I don't know what it's supposed to be saying, but it's not it's not doing that. Uh, what was it? F. Let's get, give me my assault rifle. Let's just snipe him. Is he dead? Yeah, sweet. There we go. And then we can jump down. Nice. Okay. And then we can do the same thing at the next spot. That's here. Yep, we're going to jump down because... Walking down is a chore. Whee! Who needs to incorporate fall damage? Not I, said the cat. Not I. Can we go around the back? I want us to be able to go around the back. Yeah. Around this way. Can we go... Can we go up over here? Oh, there's... Someone just chilling here. What's up, my dude? Okay. Right. So that's not a that's not a path that we can use. But we can. Oh, what was the silencer? H. That makes sense. As, as much sense as any of this makes. Okay. So there's a guy behind that crate anyway. 
Alright, we need to walk with silence. I mean, what's his hit detection area? See, what? I had barely, barely done the takedown, the silent takedown, and I immediately got filled with bullets. Immediately. Okay, well, I'm going to fast forward from here. I'm going to try and get to the next bit um, because this is dumb. Um, I guess that the actual way to deal with this situation is to go into slow-mo and just wipe them out with a machine gun. So, fine. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to fast forward, and I will see you guys in a bit. Right, yeah, so it's exactly what I thought. You just have to go through and gun them down. Um, the stealth mechanic doesn't really work because they immediately see you. They have instant... Uh, they 100% know where you are no matter what, and they uh, shoot directly at you, which is great. Okay, it's real dark in here. Need to... Need go to Dr. Chris. Need go to Dr. Chris. <laughs> okay. Need go to Dr. Chris. Oh, gosh. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um, well, I mean, I might as well take my guns. So... In breaking news, a SWAT lieutenant has committed suicide. No death note was found, and the circumstances of his death are being clarified. We will keep you informed about the investigation. Okay. Oh, so we got to pick... Why do we keep having to pick up our... This doesn't seem like a useful expenditure of our time. You know, like, there's got to be a... Oh, why can't... There's got to be a better way to get us to collect our ammo. Okay, so just a gross bathroom in here. Got it. Let's go to the city, I guess. So that was 100% pointless. 100% pointless. And then a huge loading screen in between is just, oh my god. If you're gonna set up, if you're gonna go take us to a new scene, there needs to be a reason for it. Otherwise, it can be de delivered during the loading screens. You know, like, ugh, just so many mistakes. Ugh. Need to go to Doctor Chris. Got it. Being We're... on the roof, I saw him for the first time, but his face seemed painfully familiar to me. 
I've always been careful with my connections, but no matter how hard I racked my brain, I could not realize how I had known him. Versions. Suicide under pressure. It is a good idea to find out if he has any relatives, and what are other ways to manipulate him. Drugs and other psychoactive substances. It is necessary to study the contents of his blood, and as soon as possible. His body must be in the city morgue. Severe stress. Work, family, health, money. But why did he tell he did not want to die? <laughs> okay, um, so whoever decided to... No, we can't shoot through the wall, I guess. Oh, he can hit me, but I can't hit him. Whatever. That's dumb. Okay, well, I'm not supposed to be in here, clearly. Um, why did he tell he didn't want to die? I'm... <laughs> So whoever did the voice acting, obviously is British, but then didn't bother to help fix the, um, the language, which is weird. Why didn't he say, uh, why did he say he didn't want to die, you know? Like, that's the thing. Where are we even going? Oh, we're going that way, okay. Yeah, um, so there's, there's some odd language stuff in here. Which is fine, um, but it is odd. You know, and like, the voice acting's all in English, so then I'm like, did the voice actors not say, hey, this is awkward, maybe I should say it this way? Um, but yeah, who am I to judge? Uh, if you do need uh, other voice actors, let me know. I'm always happy to provide some help, and uh, help with script writing and stuff. I'm pretty good at that as well. I do uh, some filmmaking and screenplay writing and Dr. Chris once he was a high price surgeon today he is void of his glory I owe much to him I feel uncomfortable every time I turn to him I'll always be deeply in his debt however when I saw him it was clear that he was glad to see me kind and wise look I hope he understands that I come to him not only when I need something I really appreciate him. He is like a father to me. Right. For a second, I felt like smiling, but I did not manage to for some reason. Chris Home. Chris Home. Dr. Chris Home. Yeah. We're off to see Dr. Chris. Yeah, so the, the voice acting's solid, man, but yeah, the gameplay is. I mean, like, it's not. This isn't bad. But it's also, it's not, it's not excellent or anything. Oh my god, I'm so big. Wow, am I that, am I that tall? That is a huge dude. Everything's like a little bit weirdly proportioned. That is a really tall table. Considering I'm as tall as a door. Okay. So yeah, so ducking through, I'm like, wow, that is... That is, this whole room is, this whole, oh no, I don't want to go out to the city. I don't need another cutscene. Jeez, man. Everything's really weirdly sized. I feel like, uh, oh, that's a cool painting, though. Um, oh, let's look at this one as well. Um, I feel like, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh! Hello. Sorry, but I got bad news, as usual. You know, I always have time for you. You must have heard about the lieutenant. Yes, what's that to do with you? I was there. I saw his eyes. They were the victims. If you want to see the eyes of a man willing to die, look at mine. His were different. It was the fear of death, panic, a wish to run. What could it be? I did not expect it. Well, it is not your first day as a detective. Have you experienced something like this before? Nah. I've lied. I've seen it, but it was so personal that I was embarrassed to tell. <sighs> it was five years ago. Ooh, flashback. 
Flashback. Ah! Time to flashback. I mean, there's a lot to like in this game, but it is, uh, it is so rough around the edges. Extremely rough. What are we doing? Why are we, why are we back in our house? See, Zara? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go look at the description because, um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm done with this. See, now I'm in a, a woman place with a normal sized door. The first thing I noticed when I opened the door was a heady aroma of her perfume. It indicated a vamp. The woman who never stops until she gets what she wants. A what? A vamp? a person's mind. <laughs> I saw through her. You must be Stan, aren't oh. you? Yeah, oh. I'm all ears. She entered before I could yeah. answer. For a moment, it seemed to me that my home became lighter and more comfortable. Everything is here. I think you have already understood it. I want my husband to be removed like a pawn from a chessboard. I want him into purgatory or dead. It does not matter. I am interested only in his property. <laughs> you must be crazy. You should find another <laughs> contractor. You right. could just leave him. I could not. I'm scared. Sorry. You can't even imagine what he will do to me if I leave him. Oh my gosh, so... A cold day in hell before I believed her tears. Uh, so one of the problems with this game those false tears is that leave me alone. the, um, voices are all recorded right. through, like, suboptimal mics. My instincts were crying I should kick her out. Yeah. But it was not her husband who worried me. I'm not even herself. So they don't sound like it they're in the same place. ghost inside me who hoped to see her again one day. I took that damn envelope. And as soon as she closed that door, I poured a glass of whiskey and emptied it in one gulp. Yeah, so um, all the voice acting seems like it's in different places because there's been no, there, no effort's been made to sort of normalize it or put a, like a room tone behind it or anything. Yeah, like obsessed, I gave up everything. But I found compromising information about her husband. It was six years ago. He was pushing drugs while he was in the underworld. See, his voice the works here because it's like narration. Because there was no evidence, but I found the lead. I played with loaded dice. Be evidence is out. I learned everything. I saw police taking him to purgatory. Yeah, purgatory. The people who were there once would rather die than return there. They went crazy. Lost everything. I'm afraid to imagine what's going on inside this repressive state machinery. <sighs> After I had finished, I went to the given address. I felt that very perfume before I entered. When I opened the door, <laughs> I saw her wearing a snow white bathrobe. <laughs> Angels must look like her. She smelled better than a million of tea roses. Her eyes were more beautiful than all the brilliance on earth. Her voice was nicer than any music. My ah. heart was broken by the fault that she would never be mine. I don't get what the camera's I doing. I gave her the envelope with the copy of her husband's sentence. I didn't wait when she would give me the promised payment. I went out and did not say a word. It would be better to forget her. Not to see her again. Just to get drunk and fall asleep thinking of nothing. I knew her husband has never been a despot. More than that, I was sure that he loved her like life itself, but it was not important anymore. I went into the street, and what I saw was awful. She fell out of the window in front of my eyes. There was terror in her dead eyes. Her hands were cut. I rushed upstairs to a flat. The door was closed. I kicked it out. Suicide. <sighs> okay, so, yeah, the game is super rough around the edges. None of the actors sound like they're in the same place. Um, this guy's uh, voice acting is really solid. I, I, I really like his voice acting. It's awesome. And when he's narrating the fact that the... It doesn't sound like he's in the place. Works. 
But like, I get no, the, the music is there, but I get no sense of the space. I get no sense of actually existing in the space. It just sounds like I'm listening to a music track. So like, that's why the narration works. But when they're talking, it just sounds so intrusive and like they're not talking to each other. Like we've got our narration, which works. And then we've got like people talking to each other, like blah, blah, blah. And then someone will say something else. And it's just, it's super awkward. And I don't, there are, there's gotta be a way to fix the sound to do that. You need a sound designer or to re-record the, the voices so that they're like in the same space. I don't know how you need to do that, but yeah, I mean, trying to tell a story here. I, I really like that. I love that you're, you're swinging for the fences on storytelling um, because uh, independent games like this, that's what they can do. They can tell a story and you're doing it. Um, that's awesome. But there are some small tweaks that you could do to make the game better. Um, and like, uh, I know that you want to include some combat and stuff, but I don't know, man, like some of that combat just, it, it's, it's really cheap and didn't feel amazing. Like maybe just do like a walking simulator. You don't need combat to make it awesome. Just saying. So let's go look at the description now. Okay, the unclearness. You are going to try your luck in the role of a private detective, Stan Ingram, and try to solve a tricky case of suicide. Right, so developed by Orphic Games, uh, it costs twenty four seventy nine. So, um, oop, that's my uh, that's my chair. My chair slid out. Uh, so sorry about that random noise. Um, for twenty four seventy nine, I would expect mm, a lot more polish. That's how much I paid for Kerbal Space Program when I first bought it. And I know that that's the game that I bring up for early access, but that is the that is the metric. That is the thing that I hold up for like good games. So I'd expect it to be a lot more polish. Um, so the game's only going to be in early access for two to three weeks. Okay, so I'm not sure what you're looking for in that two to three weeks. Uh, let's, let's plan expansion of in-game history of the world due to interactive objects. Filling the game world with decorations and small details. Yeah, it is pretty bare at the moment. Pretty bare. Um, several main locations in the game. Uh, there are city, industrial area, port, prison, slaughterhouse, bar, strip pub, hotel, furniture store, stands, apart. Wow, that's... Okay, the player takes control of Stan interact with the following main character jessica send oh yeah okay the plot is linear the player cannot change the flow of the story the interface is implemented so that in the lower right corner one can see how many bullets there are in the select weapon the screen will become red depending on dead blah 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 okay our shooting stealth car control and slowing down time there's also an additional mechanics of locks breaking in the game you can stumble upon notes reveal the details of the lore of the game and the card key that opens closed doors so the game's just gonna cost as much no matter what um so it's talking about the year 2080 okay the green zone is the center on a hill place of rich people and government an island of old life built on the bones okay i guess the bones is a proper noun here because it's the only way that that sentence makes sense the blue zone is steel reservations with hundreds of stories under the green zone the people who live in this zone have to work hard to survive, but who can call it life? It's an old city. The red zone is a slum area. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm just getting... There's so much to this. Um, you're going to try your luck. Yeah, got that. Was it really a suicide? Who needed it and why? What is, why is everything randomly capitalized? Was it really a suicide? Who needed it and... Uh, sorry. Who needed it and why? Is there anything bigger behind it? It's just, yeah, we don't need uh, capital letters everywhere, but that's fine. Oh, we've already, so they repeated this. They said this twice. Uh, where else are they, the, the mechanics of the game? Where do they, they said that up here. So they said, they said that there, and they just said it again here. So that's, <sighs> it is what it is. So someone's uh, giving it a thumbs up. Quite cool idea. Amazing audio voices and play of voicing actors. Car plus slow motion mode. Interesting level design. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, not understanding what's going on. Yeah, some things don't make any sense. Someone jumps off a building. You go up to the top for some reason. Uh, I don't... Yeah, so you go up to the top. The guy jumps off and says, I don't want to die, and then there's some guns up there which you pick up, okay? Um, game logic-wise, that makes sense, but like narrative, which is what this game is going for, narrative, that makes no sense. Why are there guns there? Just saying. Maybe just start him with some guns. Why wouldn't he just already have his guns? Why would he be picking up guns off the top of a roof? 
you know? Um, secondly, uh, yeah, this whole sequence at the start where he's like, um, running up to the top, that's, that would be tense if someone was like yelling or something, like if there was something ticking the clock on us, because essentially it's just like a really bleak, empty run up some stairs, and then you get up there, immediate cutscene, guy dies, and then you pick up your guns, and there's no explanation, and then there's some people there, and they shoot at you, and you have to shoot your way out. Great. Uh, no reason for any of that. The voice acting is solid. So this is the first time that I played a game where it was like, not this is not a great game. Look, there's a lot of work to be done here. Two to three weeks is not going to do it. Um, there's a lot of work to do here, but it's the first time where I can say like, oh my god, you have voice acting, good job, my dude. Um, I'm very pleased with that. However, one thing that you don't have is, you know, the voices don't sound like they're in the scene. So you need to make the environment uh, actually have some feel to it. And sound design is the way to do that. Because I just do not feel like I'm in these environments. It just sounds like I'm listening to a soundtrack and watching a kind of dingy, yeah, cyberpunky movie. Um, or, you know, music video or whatever. So that's, that's some of my help and critique and criticism. Um, some of the language is obviously not great. Uh, this is their only game. Um, yeah, there's, there's obviously some localization issues. I don't know why there would be, because the voice actors all seem to be, uh, speaking, you know, perfect English. Uh, so, I mean, there you go. So the, I guess the developers and the developer wrote the stuff in Russian and then had someone do the lines for them and the people would have just done the lines as written, I guess. Um, I can tell you that I don't do the lines as written unless, you know, you definitely want me to, but like, you know, I would offer some advice. I'd say, hey, this doesn't make sense if you're doing it in English, maybe do it this way. Either that or uh, the Russian voice actors you have have a really convincing, um, you know, lower class British accent. Uh, you know, like the, that whole Jason Statham kind of thing going on, which is really cool. Um, but, you know, there's some localization things. So, uh, wow, that's six minutes of talking about this game. Um, it's cool. I like the game. It's a bit expensive. Uh, the voice acting solid. The, uh, you know, textures and art and stuff are really dingy, and that definitely could look way better. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's... It's weird and okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you want to check out the game, link is in the description. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Class dismissed.